Silo Mission is one of the largest service providers for those experiencing poverty and homelessness in Winnipeg. During COVID-19, it's been adjusting as best it can to help keep providing services to those most in need. I'm joined now by Luke Thiessen with Silo Mission to explain how it's adapted. Luke, thanks so much for taking the time to talk with me today. Absolutely. First off, how exactly has Silo Mission kind of adapted to the ever-changing pandemic situation? Yeah, it's been a challenge and a, and a long road for us already. Um, back in March, we uh, had to take some pretty drastic measures, um, which involved shutting down um, most of our services, uh, basically just keeping things to the essentials, the food and shelter. Um, and we kept our medical clinic open with volunteer health care professionals. Um, but aside from that, we had suspended volunteering and were operating all other programs on a case-by-case -case emergency basis. As things started to open up around us, we were able to adjust. Recently, we did start bringing a few volunteers back in. But now, as we're seeing some rising in numbers over the past few weeks, we are trying to be very careful, uh, sending some staff home to work from home where possible. And um, that extends to now coming up on Thanksgiving and what our plans are there. Speaking of Thanksgiving, you usually put on a big feast for everybody there. What's that going to look like this year now? Yeah, so this uh, this year we're, um, we're still going to try to do something special for those who are um, going to be using our, our kitchen, using our meal services at that time. Uh, but it won't look anything like our normal holiday meals. Uh, normally, we'd love to invite um, all of our, uh, as many of our volunteers as possible to come in and help serve the people who love to do that every year. Um, we'd, we'd love to be able to invite people to bring their family, basically open to anybody who, who needs uh, a Thanksgiving meal who wouldn't be able to have it otherwise. But this year, um, because we have to keep our numbers down, um, we'll be extremely low on volunteers and our doors will be closed to the public in a sense. And it'll just be those who are already staying with us who are able to enjoy that meal inside our doors. Um, as with all of our meal services, we're still providing meals and we'll try to make it something special that day, uh, handing out some bagged meals through the front doors. Uh, but certainly we, um, we're disappointed that we can't do it the way we normally would. Uh, we went through this at Easter time already and we were hoping that things would be back by Thanksgiving, but. Here we are. Things are starting to get a little bit colder, you know, kind of looking forward. How how are people going to be affected, do you think, that use your services when you can't do everything to the scale you usually do it? That's another concern, definitely. Um, as the weather gets colder, we know that the, the environment among our community changes, the needs change. Um, one of the biggest things that changes is the need for clothing items. And that's something that, you know, thankfully through the summer, um, the demand for some of that goes down. It changes, certainly. So that's something where now we are looking at um, how do we ensure that people still have access to potentially warm outerwear. They're going to need some clothing for the elements as the temperatures change, the weather changes. Um, so that that's a big concern, um, as well as normally demand for our shelter space goes up. Um, and extreme weather as well. So that's something we're, we're bracing for. Uh, thankfully, we've been able to open up uh, more beds now with the opening of the new Bueller Center. Uh, but with social distancing in place, um, there there is still a concern there as for uh, what our capacity will look like. What ways can people help Silo Mission at this point? We're uh, With the limitations of our clothing program, we're also not um, looking for clothing donations right now because we've been giving fewer out. So we, we actually still have some on hand. But there are things that we do need. And so, and a lot of those things are food related. We're still um, accepting food and, and need a lot of food to keep doing bagged lunches through our kitchen, um, as well as food packaging, things like um, takeout containers. Um, and they, they don't even have to be new. Small takeout containers that we can hand out chili and warm meals becomes especially important for us around this time. And um, as well as hygiene items, um, that's we need that year round. And you know, when donations slump, that's something that we um, struggle to keep on hand. So, uh, generally, those things you can find them on our website are what we need most. But those are things we um, we've been in need of um, for a while, and we will always need. Mm -hmm.